It's a pretty interesting story how you got to be the owner of the Dallas Stars. You had a chance at a couple other franchises. Um, <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Uh, it's pretty interesting how you became the owner of the Dallas Stars. Uh, you had a chance at a couple other NHL franchises, um, but it's sort of kismet that you ended up here, given given your family, your mom growing up in Longville, and you've got family in Burleson and Fort Worth. What's, tell us that story, it's pretty interesting. Well, I think back in the 90s, uh, sorry, early 2000s, um, uh, I, I started to think about, you know, I'd love to, love to be involved in the NHL, and you know, maybe I could actually own a team. And so uh, I came very close to buying the Canucks, my local hometown team, and, and that didn't work out. And so, um, but through the process, uh, gained a relationship with with a commissioner and um, and then I, I looked at another opportunity to to buy Atlanta um, and with a with a play to move it to uh, Hamilton which is greater Toronto and and that didn't work out <clears throat> and so uh, along the line and then luckily the the Dallas Stars came available and so uh, the commissioner called me and and said I've got a team for you I think it's going to be great a great fit and it was Dallas, and so um, worked through that process. Through, took uh, took at least a year and a half. It was complicated with the Stars being owned by the by the Hicks family with the Rangers. So it was a, it was quite a process, but hung in there and, and ended up with with uh, with this team in an amazing market. So I feel very fortunate. Where does your interest in hockey come from? Did you play hockey in Vancouver? Yeah, yeah. I mean, in in Canada, it's our national sport. Although that some some people say it's lacrosse, which doesn't make any sense, but uh, it, 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 but every, you know everybody plays hockey in in Canada. Uh, I played um, you know uh, high level for a long time, and and then played men's leagues for a long time, and and so it's it's my favorite sport. Mine too. Now a word from our sponsor. You start each day committed to pursuing better for your employees, clients, and communities. The team at Bank of Texas shares that spirit. We come in every day ready to fuel growth in North Texas and financial success for our clients. Our breadth of services and advice-driven approach allows us to compete nationally, but our deep connection to this community, our community, keeps us focused on being good partners. All right, so you bought you bought the stars at a pretty good price, uh, coming out of bankruptcy, 240 million, but now they're reaching a valuation of a one billion. And I'm wondering, what's your take on the valuation you've seen in the stars compared to the rest of your business um, and how how it's going? Yeah, well, you know, sports teams uh, generally have been have have turned out to be great investments, and. Um, um, yeah, hockey's no different than than, uh, than other sports, so yeah, it turns out it's a it's a, a good space. You know whether it'll continue to be a good space or not, uh, I'm not sure. But you know it's all about it's all about live content, and live content uh, have uh, has appreciated. And so um, uh, you know again, I feel fortunate that that's all worked out. Uh, although as people tell me, uh, my father says to me, you know it looked like you did a good thing buying that team, but uh, until you sell it, what does it matter what it's worth? So, it's it's uh, it's interesting, but it, you know, as, again, it's it's nice. It's a nice situation uh, to be in, but uh, you know, I have no intention of selling the team. That's the thing about valuation, right? Yeah. Okay, so Dallas has become sort of a second home for you. You talked about your sons at SMU, soon to be three. Um, wondering, uh, you've got vast business interests already he already here. What What's attractive to you? What do you see in this market that's really sparked your interest? Well, I'm not popular with the rest of my family. My mother and my cousins and my uncle are all uh, Longhorns. And so um, it's not, it hasn't been easy dealing with them, uh, sending my kids to another school. But selfishly, uh, I spend time in Dallas when I'm here, and it was it, that connection worked out. So I think it's a fabulous school. and, and uh, and again, feel very fortunate that that uh, that they've been accepted there. Um, you know, what can I say about Dallas? I mean, uh, Dallas Fort Worth is is the most amazing market that uh, I'm exposed to anywhere that we do business. And so, 
it is such a, a powerful, explosive, growing metropolis for so many reasons. And so, um, you know, one of the things about sports is, you know, it's one thing, you know, you own a team, but really the, the value and the future of your team depends on what market it's in. And, you know, fortunately for the stars, we're in this, this beautiful market uh, here in, in Dallas where, you know, it's, 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 deep, with, it's deep with people who, who uh, you know, have disposable income, sponsors, uh, population, and just all those things. And so uh, I, think, uh, I think, you know, right now we're, 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 we're in challenging economic times, but uh, Dallas-Fort Worth is, uh, is going to continue to outperform in my opinion, it's, it's such a desirable place to be. Everybody wants to live here. Uh, the economics, the business climate is, uh, is, is one of the best. And so I, I think the long-term prognosis for, uh, for DFW is, is, is super exciting.